What's up guys, it's Aqualab B03 here coming at you with another video. Uh, I already put my video up on how to, uh, I mean my unboxing video about my Galaxy S2 for T-Mobile. It's my new phone that I got and so now I'm going to tell you how to root this bad boy. So first thing you want to do is you want to get these files that I have. I'm going to put them, upload them to my Mega Upload account or Mediafire rather and uh, so you want to just go ahead and get these. I've downloaded them downloaded them already. It's going to be a zip file, so just download the whole zip file and it'll have everything you need. Now, um, take all these files and put them to your desktop, uh, just like I'm doing right here. Then it should be, again, it should just be like four files. It should be Odin3.ini, Odin1.85exe, the SU, Super User 3.0.5, etc., etc., zip, and then the recovery hercules.tar so once you're there you I would suggest I'm going to be working off of um, the XDA guide on how to root by uh, Melvin on XDA on the Hercules forms or the Galaxy S2 forms for T-Mobile so this is the guide I'm going to be following it's real simple it's like eight steps so let's get started once you already extracted those fold files to your to your um, phone or to your desktop. Sorry, I'm lost for words today. Once you've already extracted those, first thing you want to do is put superuser.zip on your internal SD card. So take your phone, like so, and just normally, as you would always do, plug it into the SD, uh, not SD, but the USB on your computer. Nothing, uh, you know, nothing, just plug it in like this. Unlock the phone, give it a second, let your computer recognize it, then pull down your notification bar, click USB connected, and then connect via mass storage device or whatever. So now you get this, and you know it's it's right, everything's fine. When you get the orange droid, that means you're connected. So, on your computer, back on your computer, go to my documents or my computer whatever you want to do either way it's all the same if you're on on Vista or not Vista but Windows 7 so or you'll get this autoplay pull up so either way it's all you're getting to the same place open folder to view files all you want to do is take this super user 3.0.5 place it on not the whole thing sorry just place the single one on to the disk once it's done, give it a couple seconds. It's a really small file, 583 kilobytes. Like, should if you're on a modern computer, that shouldn't even be able to take any time. It's just one second's done. So once you're done with that, I want to minimize that. And um, I always do this. Uh, you know, I had a bad run in one time on my Touch 4G a long time ago, so I always eject my disk. So I want to safely eject my uh, Galaxy S2. So once you know it's safe to eject the Samsung, um, your Galaxy S2, turn the phone back on and disconnect from the PC. And now you should get the green droid and you're done. You know you're done. Windows can't stop your interface because a program is using it. ADB, close any program that might be using the device and try again later. So you're done. If that comes up, don't worry about it. It's not going to harm your, your phone. Again, um, something else that I meant to say was when you put this file, put it on the internal SD card, guys, not the external, if you have one. I don't have an external SD card. I haven't got one yet. I might or might not get one, but on the internal SD, that's where you want to put it. A lot of you guys are getting a T error when you're doing this process. If you're doing that, you put it on the external SD. You want it on the internal SD. So next thing you want to do is you will go back to our guide and look, take the battery out and place it back in. So hold... Uh, now what you want to do is you want to unplug this and you want to unplug your Galaxy S2 take your phone and um, take the back off of it like so pull the battery out once you pull the battery out you don't pull it out make sure it's everything's you know taken out and then um, put it back in and then put your back back on Once your back's back on, follow these instructions exactly as I say them. Take your phone, 
your Galaxy S2, then hold down both volume buttons, up and down. Hold those both and put in the USB cord. Like so. Hold it. Don't let go. Don't let go. Don't let go. And you should get this screen. Warning. A custom OS can cause a critical problems in phone and install applications. If you want to download custom OS, press the key, the up key. Otherwise, press the volume down key to cancel. So, up key is where we're going. We're going in, guys. So now you're in download mode. Or Odin mode. Whichever you want to call it. So now your computer should be installing the driver. Something else I meant to say is install the program Samsung Keys before you do this process. I didn't install it because I didn't do it because it's already installed on my computer. You don't if you've watched these videos before, you know that you'll need Samsung Keys to install your drivers for your phone. Simple process, just install it, you're done. So I got a little thing here saying Keys has installed my drivers for this specific phone. Everything's good to go. So let's check back on our on our guide see what our next step is. On Odin, select the PDA button and browse to recover cwmhercules.tar. So open Odin, that's the file that right there that we put. Open it up, it'll ask for your permission. Yes, there's nothing wrong with the program, it's perfect. So if you see in yellow, COM8 or COM something or anything, if you see COM, you're good. So now you wanna find right here, PDA. On any everything in this whole thing should be unchecked except auto reboot right here guys make sure it says auto reboot is checked everything else unchecked then you want to go down here over here to where my mouse is click PDA locate that tar file I just you guys just downloaded that would be on your desktop and it would be um let's see Let me make sure what its name I don't want uh, anything going wrong with this here uh yeah it should be not su but recovery cmw dot hercules so let me open this up really quick just to make sure everything's okay recovery image okay that's fine everything's good so just take that pda locate the file that i told you guys i'm just trying to make sure this is my first time rooting this phone so i'm just making sure the process is right so i don't mess anything up for you guys but yeah Anyway, just click this recovery.cmw.hercules and then open it. Now PDA should be checked. So the only thing checked in this whole thing should be auto reboot and um, PDA. And then click start. Then you'll see the little uh, bar go across here. It's writing, it's writing, and everything's okay. It's reset. Now look over at your phone. You should hear a boot, a little beep sound. Everything passed over here in Odin. Now your phone should be rebooting. Galaxy S2. So, once that's done, we'll hop back over to our guide and look at where our next step is. It says it should flash in the file to the recovery and reboot the phone. Take the battery out again and reboot. So, now we're done with the USB. Uh, not yet. So, I'm sorry. Not done with the USB. Take your back off the phone again and uh, power off the phone, unplug USB, etc., etc. So, now that that's done, um, power off the phone. It, once your phone's rebooted, power off. Just for safe measures, um, unplug your USB now you can. Now that it's re unrebooted, and um, do a battery pull. Once the battery's pulled, put your uh, back back on the phone. Now we're going to go into Clockwork. So just to, for anyone who doesn't know what's going on here, you just went into Odin Flash Clockwork Recovery Mod for your phone. That basically will allow you to flash ROMs and stuff. But you, now you want to do super user, then you're fully rooted. So we've done the first part of the process, now you want to do the last part. The last part is you just take your um, phone, once it's powered off, hold volume up and down and hit the power. Hold it for about two seconds, so hold this and this, hold it, hold it. You should hear a little vibration, keep holding it, keep holding it, keep holding it. Don't let go yet. Give it a second. You should let it hear the second vibration and then let let go. See what happens. See the Samsung. And you should get uh oh, we're getting rebooted again. This isn't a problem. Sometimes you have to play around with these buttons because it doesn't catch it the first time. If that happens, just do exactly what I'm doing here. Take your battery back off. Do a battery pull. Your back off. Do a battery pull. Hold all three buttons together. 
and then let go of power. Keep holding on to these two buttons, and then that's good. So just tap power on, don't hold power. So now you're in clockwork, blue clockwork. This is Clockwork um, Recovery Mod 5, so this is the, one of the newer versions of it. And they come in different colors, so usually you should get blue. From there, our next step is just select Install Zip from SD Card and choose the Super User Zip. So now we're done with the computer, so take this, go to Install Zip from SD Card, choose Zip from SD Card, um, Choose um choose it from internal SD card. I'm sorry guys. Uh choose it from internal SD card and click um this right here where it says super user 3.0.5 and click yes install. Everything installation and in aborted. So you get an error. It says E error in EMC zip status zero. If that if that happens, just try it again. install complete see it happened it didn't work the first time but it worked the second time so if that happens guys you're good so now our final step is to go back and um, back up and restore you want to click a backup uh, so it just can't mount SD card so if you want to you just get your external SD card stick it in and make a backup and everything should be good so one last thing is we're going to reboot our system, see how it worked. If we have super user, then we're rooted. If not, you just want to do this process again. But everything should have worked. So we're booting up quick. One thing I like about the Galaxy S2 is it boots up quick. We got that. So we get our little green Android guy. Samsung. Should boot up in a loud, no, three more seconds. Two, one zero there we go unlock the phone guys once it's unlocked go to your app tray let it load up your apps because it's rooted so it's gonna have to just take one first initial try to just re see what apps it's got in your app tray which any phone does that scroll through we want to go to the S's it's not in alphabetical order, it's just at the end. So, super user, it's right there. We're rooted. So, uh, I'm reaching close to my max for the video. So, you guys seen how to do it. If you've got any other questions, just let me know. Um, you know, guys, thanks a lot for watching my videos. Rate, comment, subscribe if you want to see more Galaxy S2 videos. Uh, Aqualab B03 out, guys.